our club at its 75th anniversary, we had been exploring uh, a legacy gift, a legacy project for our club. And Janice DeVito came up with the idea of an all-inclusive park that was going to be usable by people with all abilities and people with disabilities of all types. As you go through this park, you'll see that uh, we've tried to accommodate everybody's needs. Uh, this playground is for all ages and all abilities and everything we've done here ha has been focused on that from getting to the top of the mountain to the bottom and all the different surfaces we use. Bottoms of the slides we have transfer stations where if someone comes down a slide they can get themselves off uh, by themselves and be independent. Uh, all the surfaces we used were uh, poured in place surfaces which allow for uh, crutches, wheelchairs. It's a very solid, smooth surface that anybody can use. And we began to talk about Child in the Wild because of our present park director saying we want a safe area for children where they can kind of experiment in nature but be totally safe and protected. You know, how can you make a child feel challenged but yet safe? And we can see some of our play equipment that that's the thing where it's a little scary but it's so much fun. This, this camp was being closed down, it was a little old and dilapidated, so we said, well, this is the perfect spot. We already had parking, we already had a central location. Well, we'd just like to thank DCNR for their support, and without DCNR, it would have been very difficult for us to actually implement this project. The community is in love with this park. They love to bring their kids. The kids love to play on all of the different equipment. They love to explore. We've really touched on a lot of the, you know, visual, hearing, you know, senses and stuff in the park in general. Um, and we tied it into nature, as you can see, with, uh, you know, a lot of plannings to try to make it a, a nice combination of play and nature.